Well, hi everyone. I'm Ken Ham, CEO of Anderson Genesis Creation Museum and the Ark Encounter. And a part of our ministry, 12 Stones Christian Academy, our Christian school. And you know what? It is growing. And we have here the school administrator, Renee, and she can tell you about the needs for our coming year, needs for teachers. And so if you know someone who's a teacher or you're a teacher and you want to be a part of or know someone who would love to be a part of a discipleship school that teaches a truly Christian worldview that is under the auspices of Answers in Genesis and the kids and all the families actually associated with the school have access to the Creation Museum and the Ark Encounter and all our specialist scientists that are there and kids actually get training you would never get in any other place. I mean, No, we're very so unique. Very <laughs> unique. So Renee, tell us what some of the needs are, then we'll pop in and look at some of the kids in the classroom yeah. Yeah. just to say hi and uh, then you've got a little treat for us at the end yes. with some of the kids they actually involved in a competition or something? Yeah, tomorrow we're going to the district fine arts competition with tax and so uh, we have some of our students that are performing so stay tuned and you'll see some of our third and fourth graders present something so, special. Yeah, that'll be fun. So tell us some of the teacher needs that we have. Yes. So we're a young school in that we're just in our fifth year, but we're a growing school, which is really exciting. And so I'm looking at separating out third and fourth grade next year, as well as fifth and sixth grade. So I'm looking for a fourth grade teacher and a sixth grade teacher. And then next year, kindergarten through sixth grade will be uh, separated. We won't have any combined classes. So that's really exciting for us to be able to uh, offer that next year. Now we have had such um, just an overwhelming number of people inquire about kindergarten for next year that I might even need a second kindergarten class. Uh, we love the small classrooms. Uh, our student teacher ratio is 15 to one. Uh, so we don't like to go over that. So that's a possibility as well if, if you have a, a love for kindergarten. Uh, so, uh, so again, so fourth grade and sixth grade and then our upper school, so our middle school and our high school, we are just, we are growing, we are expanding. Uh, we started with kindergarten through seventh grade. Our very first year in 2017, we are now up to K through 10th grade and we're adding on 11th grade next school year. And then the year after, so by the, the time we reach the school year 2023 to 2024, we will be a full K through 12th grade school. So that's really exciting also. We're reaching all these milestones. So we are looking at growing and expanding our high school. So we're really looking for those specialty teachers for high school. So Bible, uh, science, history, math, English. Uh, so if you have any uh, specialty degrees in those subjects with that education experience, we would love for you to look at uh, our jobs, our job description on our website. Uh, if you actually go to tschristianacademy.org slash jobs, uh, you'll see those positions listed. You can just click on those links and it will actually take you to Answers in Genesis job page and you can read the job description and you can apply uh, via that link. And one of the great things too, because the teachers that are employed for Twelve Stones Christian Academy, they're really ultimately employed by Answers in Genesis. Yes. And so they get the same benefits, yes. health insurance and all the other benefits yes. that come with our package for our employees at yes. Answers in Genesis. So this has been a startup school just yes. five years ago. Yes. And so it started very small. Yes, 17 and, students. And then it's growing. Yes. And we've been expanding carefully. Yes. But it's a very different sort of school in that teaches a truly biblical worldview. We're writing a lot of our own curricula, yes. uh, working with our education division, our education department. It's under the direction of Dr. Georgia Purdom. And so we have curriculum writers writing our own curricula, testing them here. And of course, they use Answers in Genesis material and kids are taught apologetics and biblical worldview. And it's a discipleship school. So what does that mean, by the way? Yeah, well, it's really discipleship in twofold, um, twofold way here, is that we're discipleship for the students and that we love to mentor them. We love to just come alongside them and just really mentor them, take them to that deeper level uh, spiritually and academically. Uh, and our slogan is making Christ-like disciples. But we're discipleship in another area as well, and that is with the families. Uh, we don't just open our doors and let everybody come in. We're very careful 
about the families that um, that we lay into the school here at 12 Stones uh, because we are looking for like-minded families uh, that really want the type of education that we're giving. And really the core of our program is that biblical worldview. We stand on God's word as the authority in all areas and so all subjects are taught through that lens of scripture. We also have very high um, just academic rigor. We hold the, that expectation high. We want to prepare these kids for life after high school to wherever the Lord wants to call them. We have that unique niche in the apologetics that we add into our program as well. And we're just very um, just like-minded with our families in that we're also just come alongside our parents in that parent partnership. We understand that the Lord gave the parents uh, the instruction to raise up your children in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. And so we want to come alongside and partner with you uh, to help you do that. And so, uh, so those are all great, unique aspects of 12 Stones. Well, for those that want to find out more about the positions, the teacher positions here at 12 Stones Christian Academy, they go to tschristianacademy.org slash jobs. So again, that's TS, that stands for 12 stones, christianacademy.org slash jobs. And there we are. We, we don't use secular textbooks. We use Christian textbooks, Answers in Genesis, apologetics books, and yes, so on. Yes, very much so. Uh, so we want this to be a truly Christian school. Yes. So let's go have a peek in the couple of the classrooms. All right. Okay, lead away. And then we'll have a Stop special in. Yeah, on the, the left here. Let's take a peek in here. So we're all doing our Valentine's Day parties today. This is first grade. Hi, first grade. We're having our snacks and handing out Valentine's. Perfect. We actually talked this morning about Valentine's Day and what does that really mean and, and the great love that Christ has for us. We talked about St. Valentine, uh, where the holiday stems from. And we also talked about how marriage is different in today's culture and what does God's word say about marriage and we need to make sure that we're standing on the authority of God's word even in marriage one man for one woman did you know I gave your mother flowers today for Valentine's Day I'm surprised <laughs> you remembered <laughs> I remembered oh so there's a connection between our school administrator and me yes I I am his daughter this is, oh, this is second grade. Hi, second grade. So they're having their treat, and one of our parents is in here reading to them a book about where the holiday stems from, St. Valentine, right? And he was actually martyred on Valentine's Day uh, for taking a stand firm on Christian marriages. All right. Thank you. All right. We'll come in here. We actually, I wanted to show you guys uh, our smart boards, uh, we love to be able to utilize technology in our school. Of course, there's a balance to, to how you use that. And one of our teachers here, this is Mrs. Hurd, and she's going to share with us a little bit about how she implements it in the classroom. Thank you. All right, so we are so blessed to be able to have smart boards in our classrooms this year. Um, it's more than just an oversized TV, but it has the capability for us to use it as an interactive whiteboard to pull up just a plethora of math manipulatives and reading graphic organizers and just all sorts of different things that the teachers love using. Um, one of the tools we love to use is we can input videos and pictures from the internet and it filters through and it, it's a safe search, um, which is great for our classroom environment. It filters out all the commercials and things like that too, which is a great way for us to incorporate different AIG videos and different songs that we love to sing in morning meeting and, and our Bible times every single day. I have a couple of different interactive activities that I've pulled up for the screen that I just wanted to show you. They, they range various ages. Now I teach in the high school, but um, our elementary teachers love to use different things like this where we can fill in the missing letter just by simply dragging a letter to fill the at sound when we're working with those families. Um, we have some fun hundreds charts where they can pull over the bubbles and we can find different numbers or different um, families and different things like that as we're counting. We love to memorize our facts in math class so we're able to pull up different flashcards 
having a little bit of a loading issue. All right, so we're able to pull up different flashcards. So they have fun music and things that go along with them. And so the kids are able to come up in six times three and they can click it and double check their work and play with some of the different flashcards like that. One thing I love in my math classroom is to use what we call doodle notes. And in high school, we take a lot of different notes. And so we're able to pull our notes up on the screen and actually interact with them on the kid with the kids. So I can pull up the page that I give them, but then I can actually take my marker and I can write what they need in that blank. So that way the kids are learning and they're knowing what um, to put in as we go along as well. There's so many different options. I have a ton of different things that I could show you. We have fun different fill in the blanks. So if we're learning about history in Canada, we can pull up the song of O Canada. <clears throat> and they can fill in the missing words that go along with it. And it checks it right away. So if it's not a patriot, it'll take it away. And so that's a really fun self-checking um, tool that we're able to use. Another thing that I know our music teacher loves to use is um, our actual score. And so we'll pull up several different um, pieces of music and um, you know the, the different clefs and the notes and the rest and the kids are actually able to pull things up and build their own music. These pages are great. They can work on the kids' computers, their iPads and their devices while the teacher is working on it at the screen. We're also able to push it to their device so the kids could work on their own or they could work in groups and then the teacher can go back and review that a little bit later. So we just love the wonderfulness of our technology and our smart boards. Well, you know, at uh, Answers and Genesis, we always try to keep up on the latest technology and make sure that we're using it uh, the best way possible uh, for the Lord. And so I love to see the technology that we have here for the kids at 12 Stone. So Renee, we're going to end with a special treat, right? Yes. Third, this is some of our third and fourth graders. Uh, they're performing in our fine arts competition tomorrow. So come on, guys want to come on up, take your place. Uh, we actually, they typically wear uniforms, but today is a dress down day uh, just to have a little fun for Valentine's Day this week. And also for the Bengals, unfortunately they didn't, yeah, they lost. Mm. That's okay. There's always next year. Always next year. All right. Are you guys ready? Okay. Take it away. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Hello. We are the third and fourth graders for Twelve Stone Christian Academy, and we will be performing We're Going on a Bear Hunt by Michael Rosen and Helen Oxberry. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Oh, oh, grass. Long, wavy grass. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh, no. We got to go through it. <sighs> We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Oh, oh, a river, a deep cold river. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh, no. We've got to go through it. Splash, 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 splash. <sighs> We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Oh, oh. Mud. Thick, oozy mud. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh no! We've got to go through it. Squelch, squirt, squelch, squirt, squelch, squirt. <sighs> We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Oh, oh! A forest, a big, dark forest. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh, no! We've got to go through it. Stumble, trip. Stumble, 
trip, stumble trip. <sighs> We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Oh, oh, a snowstorm, a swirling, whirling snowstorm. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. I think you guys are ready for tomorrow. What do you think? Yes, yes. <laughs> didn't they do good? Well, that's fun. I didn't have fun things like that to do when I went to school. <laughs> so, so I'm glad yeah. they have fun. Yeah. Hey, uh, just before we finish here, uh, run over again, run through uh, the positions we need here. Yes, multiple positions just as we're growing. We're adding on those layers. We're separating out grades. We're adding on 11th grade. So we're looking for fourth grade teacher, sixth grade teacher, possible kindergarten teacher, and then our high school teachers, anywhere from math to science to English to history and Bible. Basically, if you're a teacher <laughs> and, and you're a Christian and you want to work in the Answers in Genesis ministry and uh, be a teacher at a, well, a biblical worldview discipleship school, we encourage you to apply. Yes, please, please. It because is, we'll need you anyway at yes, some stage. Yes, at some stage as we grow. I tell you what, it is hard to find good quality teachers that take the stance that we do on Genesis, right, on the authority of Scripture, on a strong biblical worldview. So I really encourage you. We have a lot of fun. Um, you'll become part of a great team. We do a lot of teamwork, a lot of collaboration. Uh, we just have such a fun staff, and it's just, it's a ministry. You, you have to be called to it. Um, it is a ministry, and... Um, but this is unique because teachers get opportunity of using all the facilities, yes. our, our labs, our planetarium, our observatory, uh, kids... Kids get to go to visit our sculptors and designers and artists Very much and so. fabrication Actually, shop. this girl, you guys went and, and saw Dr. Faulkner this year, right? For Over astronomy. at the Creation Museum and for then Astronomy. All the animals in the zoo and the animal yes. programs, and they get behind the scenes with all. Yes. Yeah, this is very unique. It very is, unique. yeah. So, tschristianacademy.org, tschristianacademy.org. Correct. And it'll have there, what, a place for jobs? Yep, there'll be a tab there. Just go to jobs and you'll see all of those listed. And when you click on it, you'll see the job description and then you can apply as well. And that links you to the Answers in Genesis site, actually, because Correct. you actually become an employee of Answers in Genesis. Uh, so, Answers in Genesis, the Ark Encounter Creation Museum, 12 Stones Christian Academy yes. uh, is a big part of our ministry too as this continues to grow. Yes, yeah, so, so, th so hiring is through Answers in Genesis and so even when you get hired you do onboarding at Answers in Genesis before you then come and do your orientation at 12 Stones. So there we are. Hey, you know what I should do? I wasn't going to do this. I'm going to, we have two teachers here. Why don't you quickly run over here, come on both of you. Say, they didn't know I was going to do this. No, no, I not wasn't at all. Going to do you this. can tell by their okay. faces they didn't know. What's it like teaching at 12 Stones Christian Academy? 
Amazing. I really, I love it. I love the collaboration with teachers. I love um, such the foundation. They care about the Christian and they care about raising a next generation that is going to be uh, gospel uh, witnesses for, for the gospel. And I really love that. I love, like Ken said, all the resources that we have access to through Answers in Genesis. Um, even if it's just reaching out with a question or needing help with something, we have email addresses that we can reach out to several different people. We have all the videos and resources that are available to us through Answers in Genesis. Um, our kids love the Buddy Davis videos and their songs and all those things. I love being a teacher here because we are cared about. Um, we're treated as professionals. We are treated um, as someone who has been trained to go and to teach and help further the ministry of Christ. I love the collaboration, like has been mentioned so many times with our staff members. Um, we all truly do love each other and we become a big family um, through fun ways and even through trials. We're able to pray. We start every morning with prayer meeting and that just means so much. It's not every place that you are, even in a Christian school, that you get to start every single morning praying and sharing one another's burdens. Well, you know what? You know what was good about that, Renee? They didn't know I was going to ask them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you are, spontaneous. Good job, good job. <laughs> two, out, two out of every two teachers at Twice Times Christian. <laughs> Actually, I'm sure all the other teachers would say the same if we went and talked to them all. Well, there you are, tschristianacademy.org. If you're a teacher, and you're a Christian, and you want to teach from a biblical worldview and be a part of the Answers in Genesis ministry, what a great opportunity. Yes, please apply.